What's going on YouTube? It's Shoegazer. I'm just doing a review of my Terminator stick I got in right before Evo. This is another B15 SDM design uh, built by Sam Curd. Um, before I get started, I uh, just want to give a huge shout out to Sam for working extremely hard to get this done right before Evo. Um, took like three and a half months and uh, he was literally working right to the last minute to get this to me right before I left. So it's very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, well, let me tell you how this started. Um, me and Sam were discussing ideas, you know, back and forth about uh, evolution, what would be best uh, for Evo. And uh, um, he came up with an idea about building a Terminator theme that would be like the uh, Terminator... Um, like the actual skull of the Terminator, you know, the eyes, side panel gears, um, uh, a plexi that would be transparent that would look like the Terminator vision, uh, and also uh, a, um, a skull cap screw that would, you know, from the movie he had a chipset inside, this is of course the, the USB cable connection that goes in, all sitting on top of a crushed skull stand. When he told me this, he said this would be better than Aliens build. So I was kind of blown away by uh, some of the things he was telling me. So I said, absolutely, let's go ahead and do that. I think this, this sounds like a winner. So, um, go into some of the uh, details he did here. Um, it's kind of hard to see in Sam's video, but if you look real close there's like a, a fetus inside the eye of the terminator that actually lights up you know along with my uh, gamer tag uh... symmetry buttons and sanwa stick um, let me tilt this up these are uh, the eyes of the terminator um, they light up when you turn on the stick uh, it's really sick how he did that um, there's the side panel gear type machine. Um, this here is actually um, the uh, back button and the um, start button. It's, you hit them together it makes the home button which is really awesome I thought. Um, I took the cap off just uh, for the video but usually screws in here for the USB and there's a LED switch here that is for the uh, um, LEDs of course let me turn it over and you can get a good look at the there we go you can get a good look at the uh, the panel that uh, Sam put together uh, he put a little joke on here he had my name on here and then he put um, possibilities of winning 93% <laughs> that was funny um, he worked uh, really hard to get this part done uh, what happened was towards the end he had another idea he sent me a message said hey I have an idea what we should do to the back let's put the plexi but what if we put like you know computer parts built inside to look more machine like uh, to look like the cyborg you know you know what if we do that I was like well that sounds awesome man so how do how, you know how do we do something like that so he says well I have an old computer at home I'm actually going to destroy it and uh, fabricate a back panel underneath this so it'll look like you know machines inside that was such a great idea I just never would have thought of that I mean that's I told him yes do it that sounds awesome so he did um, you can see kind of machine parts in here and uh, parts of a computer in there um, it's got LED readouts when this turns on um, it actually looks like the cyborg vision scanning because uh, it has red LEDs and of course the the um, the screensaver of the buttons turn it just looks really awesome how I did that just great idea just huge props on that Sam uh, okay turn this over here uh, this one is made of wood um, he does make acrylic cases too uh, the Queen Bee, Trigun and Ghost in the Shell that I own are made of acrylic um, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, acrylic and wooden cases that he makes. First of all, you know, acrylic is literally indestructible. Uh, that material is, um, it's so dense and so hard. 
um, if you get one out of that, made out of that, it's it's just going to be, you know, that much more sturdy. It doesn't, you know, move around. It's just real sturdy, real solid uh, material. Uh, it is heavy, but um, it is, um, I would suggest making it out of acrylic um, if you're wanting more of a, a, of a sturdy, you know, heavier type uh, stick. Um, I really enjoy those, uh, the ones that I have made of acrylic, so... Uh, I think you will too if you uh, if you get one made of acrylic. So acrylic is definitely um, heavier, but it's so solid and not nearly as dense as wood is. Terminator, like I said, Terminator is made of wood. Um, it is still heavy <laughs> uh, because of the parts that are inside or whatnot. But uh, acrylic is um, heavy, a heavier material, but it's super solid. Like I said. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, just how much work goes into one of these. Um, a lot of people don't realize, but I actually had the privilege to watch some of this take shape and uh, watch him build some of this. It's simply incredible how it goes from just a piece of wood in a square box to this. Um, I watched him build part of the case and uh, part of the uh, uh, stand, um, you know, in pictures. Just you know, from what it starts to look like to what it what it finishes at is just amazing. I just, you know, some stick builders out there, you know, say that you know we have a custom arcade case. That, I mean, uh, you know, a stick case that we'll sell you. Uh, it's made by hands, made of wood. Okay, but, you know, it's simply the same case, you know, over and over and over again. Different colors or maybe, you know, a few holes drilling somewhere different or something another. That's great, but anybody can have one of those, right? I mean, just order one up, you'll have one too. Same thing. But with a B-15, they're all different. Every case is different. He finds a way to make everything unique along with every case so if you're thinking about ordering one of these just know one thing is that you're going to get something that no one else has and built by the best because nobody can touch Sam's work it's just literally flawless I mean just look at this I mean it's simply amazing um, okay so let me uh, hook it up to the stand uh, and show you what this looks like um, the stand was um, an idea that he had uh, in the beginning as a um, you know as you know as a feature to just really bring out the Terminator theme like in the movie the Terminator was walking and he crushed the skull and stepped on it and then uh, uh, you know he started going into battle in the future that's kinda what the theme looks like here you know with the skulls and the Terminators in the background and whatnot let me hook it up, that way you can take a look and see it. This is the stand. It actually has a remote for different colors, different features you can do, uh, different patterns of lights you can do. Uh, there's one of the skulls. Um, I think he bought some kind of maybe Halloween prop or something and literally cut the skull in half and embedded it into this uh, to make it look like it was embedded into the ground there's another one back here he made this gravel to make it you know this um, uh, the stand make it look like gravel uh, Terminator theme logo and there's another skull here and uh, another skull embedded into the ground just, I mean what an amazing idea it was just so awesome bear with me let me hook it up uh, and that way you can see what it looks like Okay, so as you can see, the Terminator's eyes just came on or whatnot. Um, the uh, um, the stand has a switch here on the remote. You know, you just turn it on, and now the LEDs will come on for this. Let's see the lights in there or whatnot. 
LEDs will come on. Let me cut the lights off, and you can really see this well. Um, uh, underneath here, it's uh, um, he made this panel, this uh, top panel on top. Uh, my finger is this top panel here. Uh, it's super solid. It's like a, it's a metal plate with like some kind of clear. Um, I don't know what this is. On it's some type of. Uh, I thought it was plexi at first, but it's super solid uh, under a metal panel of some sort. So when you put this on here, there's no bending or flexing or anything like that. Uh, it's just super solid, well-made stand. Um, everything he makes is well-made, actually. <laughs> uh, the fabrication this man does is just simply incredible. Let me cut off the lights, and that way you can really see what this looks like or whatnot. Um, I actually own the uh, Queen Bee as well, and uh, the Ghost in the Shell. Um, the Aliens one that's just lit up right there, and uh, Trigon on the bottom, and uh, Star Wars and Salty Mach 1. Call the lights here, you can see a little bit better. Pulse rifle build was amazing. The trigun. Trigun and Aliens. Um, he gave me the privilege to write in the soundtrack too, which was very kind of him. I really appreciate that. B15 SDM Designs. Um, any theme. If you dream it, he can build it. I mean, it's just that simple. Uh, by the way, I use this at Evolution, and the handling of this stick is simply flawless. Um, using this at Evo, you know, going in, brand new stick. Um, the handling of it, the weight of it is. Uh, it's so solid and I mean uh, it doesn't ro rock around move around on you it's just so solid when you sit on your lap very comfortable uh, to play on with these edges here like this it's just uh, uh, one of the best ones I own by far by far it's just really great handling stick uh, if you have any questions just uh, send me an email and I guess that's gonna be it huge props to Sam Curd appreciate that